Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Minnesota Vikings. one started and we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Vikings take over first down 10 at their own 18 yard line. Cousins looking to put it up right away. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Cousins. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Now Cousins on fourth down. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? We're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Seven yards there and a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On second down, Elliott. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up the third down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Oh, Prescott stripped. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Uh, luckily, uh, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? 
A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Taken from about the 12. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They start the drive with Cook. They find some open field here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the four. Taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Here's Cook again. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second and twelve. to throw Cousins and he will go down a cowboy sack Anthony Barr and he's now two sacks for him here in this first half now on third and long they'll look to throw throw left side complete that's Cook and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line Fourth down, Cousins. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs. Jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. It's Cameron Dantzler who got him down. And defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards the pick up there. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Vikings are going to take over once again. a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get him next time out. A running play on first down will get four up to the 29. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Off the play fake, Cousins. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. Cousins to throw for it on four. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. On the move past the 40. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson. 77 yards. Vikings decision to go for it. He's off with six points. That certainly went against.
against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Cousins will try and throw. And that is caught for the two points. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts, passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to run for the run. To throw once more on second and 10. Prescott, oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. But well, looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at them. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Third and long for Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pound their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. They try again with Cook. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll run for it with Cook. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. It's Dalvin Cook there with a one-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Well, it split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time. They failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A good pick up there, 26 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. Final play of the half, Prescott. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Side Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Andrew picks it up. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a major deficit, guys. And let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened. So a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. Tackle made that time by Anthony Barr. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Attempt carry in the game for Cook. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Left side, Cook, and he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed. Touchdown, Vikings! Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. 
Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. We saw this line in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Got it open there. It's Michael Gallup. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Daniil Hunter able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. After the sack on first down, Prescott. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Down several scores of playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, you're the offensive line. You've been concerned protecting your quarterback. You have no chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage. Flushed out right. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. down throw for Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Pollard is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Second and goal from inside the five. Prescott off play action. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their ball to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Elliott. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down at right the two-yard line. Running with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. All right, so this one not quite over yet. Back to a two-score game, CD. Yeah, and you've still got four-plus minutes to go, so when you think about comebacks, it's happened before. Now, it hasn't happened often, but you've got to think to yourself, let's be the next great comeback story and play this one out. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs. And now off to the races down the right side. 